What is going on guys? Today I want to talk a little bit about in-game graphics and visuals. Specifically, does a game have to feature lifelike graphics to be considered graphically beautiful? Now, the reason I want to talk about this is I was watching the uh, Lefty Show yesterday um, and if you don't know what that is, you can go ahead and check out uh, youtube.com slash leftyox and uh, you'll find all of the previous uh, Lefty Show episodes there and you'll see what it's like. Um, basically, it's um, Lefty, Dr. Chiz, and uh, now Hutch, um, and they talk about certain uh, topics um, that have to do with the gaming community and sometimes that um, they'll uh, sort of um, get away from that and do real life stuff like uh, they were talking about the papacy yesterday and the vacancy um, what the Pope now has to deal with stuff like that but uh, specifically um, they got into it a little bit regarding video game graphics and um, I had to agree more with Hutch than Lefty and um, I'll start with Lefty's point. Lefty was saying that a game has to be HD and lifelike to be considered graphically beautiful. And if a game isn't lifelike, um, then if you were to grade it um, on its visuals, it would be an automatic zero because he believes that um, a game can only be considered graphically uh or aesthetically appealing if it's HD because that's that's what that's our modern day um, standard and Hutch uh, countered with um, games from past uh, consoles and generations um, like um, what did he counter uh, Geometry Wars that's a very simple game guys that that game has no it literally is just polygons and shapes, you know, um, that, and, and that can be considered a cool looking game. Um, he also went into um, previous games like Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii. Um, obviously, we all know the Wii was never able to output HD uh, content. It was never able to. And um, despite that, Mario Galaxy and uh, Mario Galaxy 2 were really awesome looking games. Um, if you played that on uh, on any TV and output it in 480p, it looked pretty cool. And I have to agree with that completely. A game does not have to be um, HD, nor does it have to be lifelike. It can have cartoon inspired graphics it can have cell shaded graphics it can have um anime inspired graphics um if you're a fan of jrpgs most jrpgs that i've played i would consider uh aesthetically appealing because the graphics that go the detail that goes into the graphics um the hand-drawn uh animations and stuff they're so awesome if you've ever seen japanese animation you know how much um how much work goes in to animating each character and drawing them out and uh, just drawing out characters and that to me is um, more important than for uh, than having the game look um, extremely realistic you know like the crisis series yeah those games are definitely um, you know they're graphically beautiful but um, it doesn't have to be so lifelike um, just for it to be, um, you know, aesthetically appealing. And um, I want to hear your guys' take on this. Um, go ahead and leave a comment, uh, like the video. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Peace. I'm out.